since Google Analytics, the basics. What happens, what do I get when I just install the basic Google Analytics code, nothing else? Um, and this focuses on getting more user insights. This is of course also true for level five, but level one will need to focus on this thing. And thankfully this is the most important one. Um, so how does Google Analytics look like? If you do not have a Google Analytics account, uh, you can, if you have downloaded the slides, you can look at this now, or you can later download the slides and click on this uh, title. It, it sends you directly to the Google Analytics demo account. There is an official demo account with real-time data coming in, which is extremely helpful for you to see everything that is possible with Google Analytics. Yeah, but let's look, what can we actually see here? Make this a bit bigger. So on the big graph, we can see how many users have been on this website, um, on this website every day. So about 2,500 people are visiting this website. You see that in the time frame I've chosen here, so one month, 46,000 users have been um, on the website and 59 were new users. So Google is trying to show you recurring visitors. These are on the right-hand side. Let me show you the complete process here on the right-hand side are all the new customers in blue and the returning customers in green. Um, and then those customers create sessions. Yeah, and sessions mean like visits. Imagine you are one person going five times per day to Google for a search. Yeah, and you're typing something that you want to learn about. That is one user creating five sessions on the Google search, um, on Google search. So, of course, that means how many yeah, sessions per users can we have? And then within one session, how many page views are you creating? Let's say you go to piratesguilds.com, you create a session with that. How many pages are you visiting during that one session? And in this example, we see that on average, 3.8 sessions are happening on the site. And people stay around for two minutes and 50% of people leave the page without any interaction. Yeah, no clicks on links, for example. Yeah, they just go to the site, leave it, or stay there without any real interaction. Um, so why are these numbers important? To me, this is a bit like, like the pulse of my business. Uh, do I have still enough users? Are people interested? Um, do they stick around long enough? And you get this for free, by just installing the Google Analytics um, plugin, yeah? And how do we go from, where do we go from here? What else, what else do we get? Okay, let me close that. Oh, yeah. So this is the audience overview tab where all of you can, can get this kind of information, yeah? Another very important tab where, where I look in with beginners and with myself, yeah, because I'm very interested, is the all pages tab. On the left hand side, we see that we have a couple of, of navigation points under behavior, site content, all pages. You can see every single site, website that is being visited by your users. Yeah, and you see how many page views are there. Why is this important? You can now see for example, which products are most important, which of your blog articles is read the most. <clears throat> and you will see that a couple of your articles, for example, suck up the most of your users, yeah, and the page views. That means you should be doing more of that. It could also be an indicator that you're ranking pretty good for that keyword uh, on Google. Yeah? And you can see on the right-hand side, in this example, what the page value is. So if you have a web shop connected to your blog, you can see how much money are people going to spend on average once they've visited that website. You can also see how much time are sp people spending on each website and to see where, where do people really get drawn in. And you can use that information again to, to create more content of what people enjoy and optimize the websites that people don't like so much. That is very important for me. 
So the next one is my favorite tab. This is the all traffic source medium. So on the left hand side, you go to acquisition source medium, all traffic source medium. And there you can see where your people are coming from. Yeah, let me show you the complete screen for a moment. So what do we see here? We see those 64, 65,000 users. And now that we see a breakdown, one moment, of where people have been coming from. Google organic means they're coming from uh, Google SEO. Yeah, so they're typing a search and landing from there here on your site. We see YouTube referrals. Direct non means people where we don't know that they came from or they typed in the URL directly. And Google CPC, for example, means they're coming from Google Ads. And we can see the difference in engagements and user behavior uh, across the different channels. And as you can see, a person who's coming from YouTube is spending only 52 seconds, but a person coming via search, Google Organic, is spending up to 1 minute and 50 on average. And there is a lot more revenue coming in through some channels than others. And that helps you to understand what your most valuable traffic sources are. I think we got a question coming in. Yeah, so there, have, there are many versions of Google Analytics around. Um, it depends on what kind of version you are on. I am in 50 different accounts. And I think I have about three different versions of Google Analytics. And this is going to keep happening again and again and again. So don't worry if your looks different. That will always keep on iterating and changing over time. So um, just don't worry about it. The navigation usually stays the same, but the tool is going to change over time again and again. Hope that answers your question. So, and as a niggle for as a tidbit, a technical um, learning that I think is very important is how can you create your own source and medium parameter? We looked at this wonderful, um, we looked at this wonderful graph here uh, and you see that there is Google CPC standing here or partners affiliate. What if you could write your own sources and medium? For example, you do an email campaign or a Facebook uh, post and you could say, ah, oh, yeah, this is a Facebook post and you can now differentiate your Facebook post from your Facebook ads, for example. How would you do this? Yeah. You have to add a little bit to your URL. Yeah, let's say the URL is domain.com, yeah, or piratesgoods.com. You start with a question mark and then um, you have to tell Google, ah, yeah, now the source is coming, which is signified by UTM underscore source equals, let's say, Facebook. And then you can add another parameter like uh, UTM uh, medium, which is the medium, source medium. That is the tab that we just saw. And CPC usually signifies ads. So this is a good parameter for, uh, for YouTube, uh, for Facebook ads. And then you can tell them which campaign, like the meetup, day 2020 0401 first of april yeah in order to make this easier for you google has created a little tool called the uh, google url campaign builder and i can post that to the uh, discord channel if you like and here you can see that I cr already created a few examples here. Here's my website URL. I even used emojis in my source medium. And those emojis will actually show up in real time in your Google Analytics sources. So let me share this with you in the Discord. Another reason to join. So I thought this is a good little tidbit uh, for the people who are in the beginning of level one Google Analytics, you can see that you can already do a lot. On level one, you can see how many visitors have visited my website. Yeah, I, I honestly only use Google Analytics to answer questions, questions uh, like the one that I'm seeing here right now. So another question I like to ask is, what do the people who visit my site are actually looking at? You can see that as well in the pages tab. 
and you can see where they are coming from in the source medium tab and with this little tool that I just showed you, the campaign builder, you can change your URLs for social media, for emails, for partnership campaigns, so that you can exactly see how good, for example, an influencer has been compared to another. So, and that to me is, is level one, yeah? And what you get out of just installing Google Analytics. But we want more, yeah? Let's take a little sip. If you have any questions in between, always time to ask them. We will have time for Q&A at the end, but queue them into the Discord or into the, um, into the comments of Facebook and YouTube, and we will see it. So, cheers.